Murkowski, you far away. What were kind of the points of emphasis and areas you wanted to focus on as a defense in, in the bye week? In the bye week, uh, I think building more depth, obviously. You know, obviously we're down some guys up front, so, you know, building depth and, and getting more guys comfortable with their job and and then uh, just polishing things up, really. I mean, every week you got stuff to work on, so just everyone understanding their role, you know, their, their fit in, in the scheme and just kind of working together. As, as an older guy, you've been through these designations here. What did you do this time? Knowing that you got to grind ahead, you know, what did you do? Did you have any fun? And then what did you do to try and prepare for the yeah, I got, stretch? Yeah, I got to go home. But, uh, I mean, my process has been the same, you know, since I've been here. Just, I mean, it's, it, we treated last, I mean, yeah, we had some time off to rest and recover and kind of get our legs back underneath us, but I mean, we were treating it every week. I and mean, we were attacking the preparation, and we had three really good days, and we got some time off, but you know, nothing really changes. Jason, you've been around forever. Is this your third trip to, to Syracuse? This will be my, yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah, this will be the third one. What can you tell everybody? You know, what's it like, first of all, playing on a Saturday night, playing in that dome? Yeah. It's great, man. They got a, a good spot up there, and you know, there's a lot of history in that dome. And uh, I mean, it gets loud, and and they go bring their A game, so they're always a great opponent, and great challenge for us. They do run the ball really, really well. Uh, they're physical. Yeah, uh, I don't really know who's going to be playing quarterback. They got a couple that are real good. Uh, Big 16 can can really run the ball, and then. They got really good backs. You know, 34 can take it to the house. So, I mean, it's going to be a challenge for sure. 16 had a lot of success in that great Saturday. What, what did you see? What were they doing to spring things for you? Uh, I mean, and without getting too deep into it, I mean, they just had some design runs for him. And, I mean, he's, he's great at creating something out of nothing. So, I mean, you got to bottle him up, get him in a phone booth. Can't give him too much space. And it's hard to do, man. He's, he's a really good player. He's a very talented guy, very gifted physically. So, I mean, it's going to be tough. I mean, I think Rook has stepped up, you know, big for us and uh, kind of being that, that main leader in the room now when it comes to being on the field. Don't get me wrong, TD and Brian are still – very much involved and around in the team, and and then you know other young guys. You know Trey Williams has really stepped up. Et, you know Peyton Page is getting in there. So I mean we're lucky to have the kind of depth we have at that position. Obviously, you know we wish no one would have gotten hurt, but uh, I mean, we're still very capable of performing at a high level. And I mean that's been the expectation. You know, those guys know that. So I mean they're 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 living up to it. I think. James, you guys there hasn't been that much. We're definitely battle tested. I know that. You know, we've uh, you know, we've seen it all, we've been through it all. So uh, it's not like we're gonna, you know, be thrown into something we haven't been through before. Because we have. You know, y'all have seen it. So yeah, I think you know, you can you could say we, you know, we've earned our stripes a little bit, and uh, you just gotta keep it going. Oh, I did. Craziness all over college football. Yeah. Does that give you, you know, an idea? Hey, it's not over. Man, anything can happen. Everything is still in front of you. Yeah, you know, it's kind of frustrating uh, when you look at you know, some of the rankings. You know, we're we're unranked team. You know, and our two losses are against a number one team in the country at a neutral site, ten to three, and uh, at a double overtime versus a top twenty-five team. So I think, I mean, that's kind of frustrating on my part when you when you almost feel a little disrespect. I mean, I get it. But like you said, there's plenty of time left to to climb up the table again. And I mean, like you said, nothing's off the table for us. Nothing is. So we just got to keep one game at a time. Just try to win the next one. And that's all we're going to focus on. I mean, there's no difference. I mean, it's all the same when it comes to preparation. Like we're just gonna 
the same way we always do. Prepare, you know, put a game plan together, you know, work hard, practice hard with intensity. And but uh, I mean, we haven't won a game on the road yet. This team hasn't. So we just gotta. I mean, people like to over overthink it or make it something that's not. It's just football. I mean, it's just a field, and we're gonna go play a team. You know, all that other stuff. To be honest, when you're on the field, I guess on defense. It's either really loud at home or it's not loud at all. So to me, it doesn't really make a difference defensively. And maybe the offensive guys can feel that home away vibe a little differently. But defensively, you don't. I mean, it's just there's a hundred yards field, and you're just going to play a new another opponent. And that's how I look at it. Um, no, I mean, I think we've, in the past, I think we've, I feel like we've probably earned probably a little more respect. Um, and I think we should be given a little more right now in particular. But, I mean, people, a and is a great football team. I mean, that's a great football team. So, I'm surprised that all Bama dropped a few. Uh, Bama, come on, everyone knows Bama's a top four team. I think so. So, I mean, I mean just... All we can control, we can control. So that's what we're going to do. Just keep playing. All that will take care of itself. Do you feel like this gives you a, a second chance, though? And the second chance starts Friday. So to kind of make the season what you want it to be? Yeah, it's all about how you finish, right? right. No one no one remembers. We always say it in here. No one remembers September. I remember, you know, November <laughs> when, it all, when it's all said and done. So you can start great, but it's all about how you – or you can start bad, but it's all about how you finish. And, that's all our focus is now. I mean, that that's done. Three and two. That's I mean that we can, nothing we can do to change that. We can grow from it though, and get better. And I and I believe we're doing that. And so I guess we'll find out a little soon. Anything from Zoom for James? Yeah, Balin. Uh, man, that's one of the hardest, probably the hardest working dude I've ever, you know, been around here. You know, outside of you know some of the Power Rangers from the past, but uh, uh, we just have some great chemistry. I love playing next to him. He makes me better. You know, I, you know, it's just I'm uh, I'm blessed to have a teammate like that for sure. And he's just he's the uh, you know, epitome of of what we want on defense and you know who we're about. So. I'm lucky to have him. I don't know what happened. I think it disconnected. No, we disconnected there for a moment. Any other questions from Zoom? All right, thanks, James. Appreciate you guys. Okay.